Meatball Guys. What up, guys? This is Meatball Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your player in MLB The Show 21. Now, you would think this would be fairly simple. However, personally, I found it kind of confusing, at least compared to other sports games, where typically you can upgrade your custom player stats by, you know, using in-game currency or something similar to that. In this game, you don't upgrade all of your stats manually, stat by stat. You actually only can upgrade them by applying um, like cosmetics, basically, but primarily by updating your loadout. I'll show you that in just a sec, but right here, we can see the attributes for our player, and right here, we can see our loadout. As you can see, my player has a pretty low rating right now, but it's because I have not set up my loadout yet, and if you're wondering why you're player uh, stats have not increased at all it's probably because you have not set up your loadout yet so what you want to do is you want to click this orange uh, diamond right here with the plus sign and we have three different power up slots and what we want to do is we want to select the best power up for each slot now as you can see when I hover over each one it shows how it impacts our overall rating of course I want to pick the one that boosted me up to a 73 overall rating aside from that you want to make sure that you're getting the best rating possible. Just make sure you hover each of the ones that you have available and that you are selecting the best ones that are going to give you the best rating. Ultimately, I have some gold and silvers. I'll show you guys how I got those. But when you first start the game, you're only going to have bronze ones. But even with those, you should be able to get up to 70, maybe a little bit over 70 with the stock uh, power-ups. Just make sure that you find the ones that impact your overall the most. As you can see here, the pointer um, impacted mine the most. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys some ways to unlock these power-ups um, if you want to increase the quality of your loadout. Now, one way would be to find them in packs. Other way would be to buy them in the auction house. So I'll show you guys how to do both of those. For now, the highest I was able to get my rating was a 73. This is plenty enough to be able to get all of the achievements or trophies in the game. Make sure you guys keep an eye out for my video guides related to this game if you need help getting some of these achievements. Other than that, this is also where you can apply the equipment, aka the cosmetics that I was telling you about. Some of these do impact your stats. For example, I don't have a ton, but we'll go through each category and see if I have any and I can show you how it impacts my stats. As you can see, um, that glove right there impacted a few of my stats. That impacted two of my stats. And once you start the game, you're not going to have too much. I don't think the bat skins affect anything because that's purely a cosmetic. But some of the other stuff like the gloves and things like that, they do affect your stats. So you want to make sure that you have pretty good equipment. That's going to help increase the stats on your player as well. So ultimately, what it comes down to is equipment and your loadout. If you increase the quality of your equipment and increase the quality of your loadout, ultimately, you're going to make your player better. Now, once I completed my first game in the Road to the Show, um, I actually completed the first game, the full thing, and I unlocked a pack. Once you open up this pack, it includes a couple power-ups. It also included a glove or it let you choose a glove. It actually lets you choose which power up and which uh, piece of equipment you want. I chose the glove and that ended up choosing the power up that I felt that would help me the most. So that's how I got one of my silver power ups was in this pack. Again, you can unlock this pack by completing the first full game in Road to the Show. Next, I'll show you how to buy these things off of other players. What you wanna do is you wanna go to the marketplace and then you wanna go to equipment and perks. The perks are the power-ups that I mentioned earlier. That's what we put in our loadout. So if you want to get a quick boost to your player, you can go into this marketplace right here and you can try to purchase some better perks or power-ups. After that, you just need to make sure that you load them up into your loadout and you're going to find a significant boost in your overall on your custom player. So yeah, some players may have figured this out and other players may not, especially if you're usually used to playing games like NBA and Madden where you can basically upgrade each of these stats individually. Um, yeah, this is nothing like that. You're going to have to upgrade your stats or attributes on your player using your equipment and perks. 
If this video helped you understand the upgrade system in this game, let me know down in the comments below. I was really trying to find a video like this when I was trying to figure it out, and that's what prompted me to make this. So make sure you guys keep an eye out from other video guides, mostly achievement guides related to MLB The Show 21. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 15 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, Kegger101, Michael Bengsa, and Purple Rain 6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.